Math proficiency is considered one of the critical skills necessary to safely administer medications and parenteral fluids. Here are common nursing math problems you will encounter in practice and in any nursing exam, including the NCLEX. Mr. Smith is being admitted in the pre-op unit for a coronary artery bypass graft of the three vessels. You have an order for 2 liters of D5.5 normal saline with 20 potassium chloride IV to run over 12 hours. At what rate should you set your IV pump? Remember the formula for milliliters per hour. Take the total volume to be infused in milliliters and divide it over the total time you are ordered to infuse it for. The first step is to convert our values to fit the formula. So 2 liters is equivalent to 2,000 milliliters since 1 liter is equals to 1,000 milliliters. The second step is to plug the values to the formula. 2,000 milliliters is your total volume to be infused over 12 hours, which is the total infusion time. You should get 166.66 milliliters. Since it is an infusion, we follow the rules of rounding and round it up to the next whole number, which is 167 milliliters per hour. You gave him a clear liquid tray for dinner, and he consumed the tea, which is 8 ounce, broth, which is 12 ounces, and jello, which is 6 ounces. You also emptied out his Foley bag and measured 380 milliliters of urine output and noticed about 150 milliliters of output from the nasogastric tube canister. What intake and output will you document for your shift? Once again, organize our intake to make sure you accounted for everything. Since volumes are given in ounces, you must convert the ounces to milliliters. Recall that one ounce is equivalent to 30 milliliters. Add it all up and you should get 780 milliliters of total intake during your shift. Add your total output of 380 milliliters of urine and 150 milliliters from the NG tube canister, so you should have a total output of 530 milliliters from your shift. Five days later, Mr. Smith was discharged and recovered successfully from his coronary bypass surgery with no more complications. Now, let's put what you have learned to action. Attached are exercises that are highly recommended for you to practice so you can master nursing math. <music>